Knott's Berry Farm is a park that honestly has had really kind of an up and down year, but when it comes to reliability of their major coasters, they're not hitting the mark at all because Accelerator has been closed since what? 1983 and then Montezuma's Revenge closed down about a year and a half ago I believe and that is when Knott's Berry Farm stated they're going to rebuild the classic attraction and replace the launch for it and reopen it in 2023. Well, it's already October of 2023 and sadly there's rumors out there now that that project might be canceled altogether. So yes, no more Montezuma's Revenge at Knott's Berry Farm. That is a real thing. I firmly believe like Knott's will announce that they're going to remove the attraction altogether, which sucks. But there's good news to this, and I'm going to share that with you in a second here. But Montezuma's Revenge, that's a very classic coaster. It's an ace landmark and a fan favorite. But Knott's Berry Farm is in a very interesting position because you have two of the major coasters down, Montezuma's and Accelerator, not to mention, but they just removed their kiddie coaster not too long ago to make way for something coming to Camp Snoopy in 2024, which the park is set to announce later this month. So, a lot of interesting moves from Knott's Berry Farm, especially around Montezuma's Revenge. I guess the good news is Accelerator has been testing and should hopefully be reopening very soon. But you would think that they try to reopen it for Not Scary Farm, their busiest time of the whole entire year. But what do I know? I'm just some guy from Ohio. But with that said, here's some very intriguing stuff coming from Screamscape. And yes, I know Screamscape, you have to take it with a grain of salt a lot of times. But to Lance's defense, he gets a lot of stuff right. So we have to give him some credibility. And this, I'm buying it. Apparently, word on the street is that Montezuma's Revenge was going to be new for 2023, followed by a new Camp Snoopy in 2024, and then an expansion of the Ghost Town section of the park with a few new flat rides and a mid-sized coaster. So, they definitely had plans for 23, 24, and 25, but with all this drama around Montezuma's Revenge and it never reopening again, plans have been shuffled around quite a bit. Because apparently, Knott's Berry Farm is now rumored to be getting a brand new multi-launch coaster from Zamperla to make up for the Montezuma loss. Which, if you really think about it, that makes perfect sense. And this is why I'm buying it. Because Cedar Fair's best friend now is Zamperla. So they said, screw you Entman, screw you RMC, we're, good. We're, we're done with you. Friendships are not there anymore. And then all of a sudden you have Zamperla. Come here, let's be best friends. And while Zamperla is a good company, and I am excited for Top Thrill 2 for the most part, uh, they just released this concept, as you see here, of their brand new multi-launch coaster featuring the lightning trains. And I gotta say, the layout looks awesome. The elements look very, very good. The pacing looks legit. So I really am intrigued by a concept like this. Now here's the thing. Knott's Berry Farm does not have room for this type of coaster with this layout. So obviously, this would be a custom designed layout that would fit in the park somehow, some way, which is not a bad thing at all. But what if Knott's Berry Farm would surprise us all and announce that Montezuma's Revenge is going to get retired, followed by a Camp Snoopy announcement for 2024, but then later this year or early 2024 announce that they're going to be building a brand new multi-launch coaster that is set to open in 2025 that's going to be coming from Zamperla. Now, I really like this fit because Knott's Berry Farm could definitely benefit from more inversions. Even a multi-launch coaster would do really well for the park. So I really think this does have some truth behind it. I personally am still Team Giga or even Team Hyper, uh, but I definitely feel like that project is still in the works. And anytime you have a 200 foot tall, 300 foot tall coaster, and you're dealing with California, as well as Southern California and Knott's Berry Farm with all the neighborhoods around it, you're definitely gonna have a huge timetable for an attraction of that magnitude. So I still firmly believe that Knott's Berry Farm will be getting a Giga or potential hyper coaster Something like Fury 325, as you can see here, uh, some before 2030. I think the timetable has definitely been pushed back a lot, uh, but I feel like Knott's definitely needs the capacity. 
They need the reliability as well as a huge major coaster that's going to be the guest fan favorite. Because right now you have Hang Time, Accelerator, and Silver Bullet. Those are the top three coasters that are steel. Then you have Ghost Rider, their awesome GCI wooden coaster. Uh, so that's probably the fan favorite right now, but not Spray Farm. Just imagine if they would get this Zamperla multi-launch coaster, and then three years later, maybe, maybe four years later, they get a Giga or a Hyper. That is something that's going to do really well for the park and play off of what Universal Studios Hollywood's going to be building, which is the Fast and Furious Intamin multi-launch coaster that's opening in 2025. And then, of course, Magic Mountain, whatever they're up to, because you know that something huge is coming to that park very soon. And while I really will miss Montezuma's Revenge and I hate the park has to retire it, I do understand it because sometimes you have to make a tough decision like Volcano the Blast Coaster and other parks do this stuff too. It's not only Cedar Fair. I am sad about that, but I am very intrigued by the future of Knott's Berry Farm as well as what Cedar Fair is planning for this Southern California park. And if you are visiting Knott's Berry Farm anytime soon, then you have to check out my ultimate guide to Knott's Berry Farm, where you will learn ways to save money, time, as well as get the most out of your visit to this one-of-a-kind theme park. Now, while you might be surprised that Zamperla is the rumored name for this next coaster for Knott's Berry Farm, you really shouldn't be, I guess, because after all, Zamperla worked with Cedar Fair with Wild Mouse of Cedar Point in 2022, then of course Top Thrill 2 in 2023. Obviously it just adds up, but we have to give Zamperla, you know, credit where it's due. And this model looks really, really cool and I'm very intrigued by what they could do with this. But here's the biggest question. Where would the layout go? Like, would they reuse Montezuma Station and have the coaster loop all around this area of the park? Or would they have a whole new area and not spray farm dedicated to where this coaster could travel? Because I guarantee you this, the layout's going to travel over the midways. It's going to feature hopefully a tunnel potentially. And it's going to really kind of interact with a bunch of different rides. And I'm all for that because that makes Knott's Berry Farm so unique. And a ride like this would really do well for Knott's. Now, here's a serious question for you. Judging by this layout here, from Zamperla of the multi-launch coaster with lightning trains and then over here you have Montezuma's Revenge my serious question is which one would you rather have at Knott's Spray Farm? Montezuma's or the brand new Zamperla multi-launch coaster? Because for me personally while I love the history of Montezuma's Revenge I would take the Zamperla coaster any day all day just due to all the unique elements and everything this layout offers. With all that being said let me know your thoughts about this. Are you happy or sad that Montezuma's Revenge is going to be most likely retired forever? Or are you excited about what's to replace it and potentially a Zamperla multi-launch coaster? You know what to do. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and of course, keep riding coasters.